Hello, Tyler's video is, will you be, will you be held accountable for your life when you die? I'm here to tell you that you will be. If I would not tell you this, I would go into hell. The Bible says, for we must all, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done whether it be good or, or bad. Verse 11 says, Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. What that means is if we are to do, I am to do everything verbally in my power to convince people. For we must all appear. So maybe you're a person you say, well, I don't believe in hell, or I don't believe in God, or I'm an atheist, or, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Believing don't matter. It don't make a bit of difference what you believe. For we will, I will have to appear, and I will be, I will be first to tell you that I'm going to, I'm going to need lots of mercy. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's why I'm on here. Persuade means I'm to do everything verbally in my power to convince you. All means everyone. All doesn't mean just the believers. All means the just and the unjust. And hell is real. This book is the truth. It's nothing but the truth. I'm here to tell you that if you die without Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you will remember that who you thought at that time, which is now what you're watching me, that Looney Tune on YouTube with glasses. You will remember that guy that was on YouTube for eternity. I'm here to tell you, you can make, you can say whatever you want to, as far as you can leave whatever kind of comments you want to leave, doesn't matter to me, I still pray for you, we must all appear, I will have to appear, I will, if I do not tell people this, I will go into hell, hell is real, heaven is real, Jesus is real, he's the only way to heaven, God is real, Satan is real. Demons are real. It's like walking up to a tidal wave and saying, I don't believe in tidal waves. I don't believe in tidal waves. What's it going to do? It's going to slam you. It's like saying, like with a hurricane, well, I don't believe in hurricanes. And sitting there and there it comes. People can say what they want to say. I'm on here doing what Jesus has told me to do. And that's all that matters. For we must all appear, including me, not just believers, not just people that believe in God. For we must all appear. And hell is real. It don't matter if you don't believe, that don't make a bit of difference. It ain't going to change it. it ain't going to change your judgment. You don't belong to you. I don't belong to me. We belong to the Lord. The Lord made us. I don't care who you are. The Lord made your children. The Lord made me. He, he made you. You and me will have to appear at the judgment seat of Christ. A-L-L. -L. Oh. Maybe your person that says, well, I don't like that. Well, I'm just telling you the truth. That's what I'm here to do. And I don't have any pleasure in telling anyone that hell is real. Uh, because I've seen it and I pray that I don't see it again I plead with people and like I said again you know you can say well I tell you if you die without Christ being your personal Lord and Savior you won't have a Savior if you die without Jesus Christ you will go into hell I don't have no pleasure telling you that 
and you will remember that right now at this time as you're watching me so called Looney Tune mental person telling you this you will remember it forever and ever and ever because eternity is forever and I plead with anybody I plead with you out of love and mercy and compassion that if you've never accepted or received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior that you'll please do so I know this guy actually um, he had a vision of hell too as a lot of people have I think the Lord gives his people or meaning the people that knows he's real and he's revealed himself to them visions like that of hell and, and even of heaven and, and you know wh whatever he wants to give them you know to tell unbelievers and people to try to persuade in other words there's that word again persuade I'm to do everything in my power to persuade you because it, when he said when he said when he had a vision of hell they was they was it was awful I mean I remember they was screaming and hollering that they'll They'll believe now, or they'll repent now, but it's too late. Once you die, that's it, and your spirit, your spirit will leave your body. You won't just die, and just your spirit will leave your inner man, who God created, will leave your fleshly body. And you will go to heaven or hell. And then you will have a judgment. And you will go to your judgment that you lived here on earth. The unbelieving and the atheist judgment is called, it's actually called this in the Bible. Because Jesus knows. He doesn't want anyone going there, but he, he already knows what it is. It's called the great white throne judgment where heaven and earth passes away and there you'll appear at the judgment seat of Christ not saved I plead with you, I beg with you you know you go outside and you can't see the wind but you can feel it just like the earth you know, the Big Bang Theory, all that is a lie. That's what I used to believe. It took death for me, which, you know, I know probably a lot of people has already heard my testimony, and it's true, you know. A lot of people believe that it was a Big Bang, and the Earth popped out, and the Moon popped out, and the planets popped out. That's a lie. The Earth is being held in place by God's hand. That's all I got to say is if you die without Jesus Christ. And Jesus knows... Who's hearing this? He knows who's seeing me. He knows who's hearing me. He knows who's rejecting me. Took death for me. And I'm still going to need lots of mercy. And he knows. So, you know, if this is the truth, 100% the truth. Like I said, maybe your person say you don't like that. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just telling you the truth. Jesus loves you. He died for you. He died for the ungodly. He's waiting on you to accept Him in your life. You will, you will remember if you die without Jesus when you die and your spirit leaves your body and you die without Jesus you will remember for all eternity that who you thought at this time was a fruitcake looney tune mental person for all eternity and I, I would want to see I don't want to see hell again and I would not want to see my worst enemy which I don't really consider anyone my enemy now I don't because when you truly pray for your enemies you don't hate them I don't want to see anyone go into that place